Well, actually, I've I try to avoid defining myself with film. I, I come through it from a very emotional place, from a very um, intuitive place. I look often to just things that move me and inspire me for subjects, and often that is people's stories, personal stories, and also um, nature. Our connection or our increasing disconnection with the environment. My background is from Chile, my parents are from Chile, and uh, they're political refugees here in Canada. They came because of the military coup. Seeing them struggle through not having uh, deep roots here, it made me a bit of a warrior in that way. It made me a bit of um, um, wanting to fight for something that uh, really was taken away from them. And, and that has kind of fueled a lot of the social justice issues that I search for in my, particularly my documentary work. Uh, but it also infuses my fantasy work. We need to look at our world in a new way. We need to, um, we need to sort of keep searching for the magic our reality is, <laughs> it's fantastical. You know, there's so much that we think we need to, um, you know, define and we think we understand, but it's clear that there's so much more that we don't know than that we are sure of. And so in that space, in that um, ether of an unknown is the fantasy. Uh, the place where dance and film meet as mediums. I am very interested in the cross-section in that place where, you know, it's not so well defined. Now we have a, um, a very linear, very, you know, visual kind of emphasis on how we perceive knowledge and we've lost touch with the intuitive, the empathic and and to me, that's, if anything, a return to the magic that is needed in order to reconnect with our compassion as a, as a humanity. Love is the only remedy, and change the only constant.